because it's like copper or like red on there and orange. For you flat earth people out there, here's a map of the earth, the flat earth in 1457. So uh, there you have proof that the earth is flat. Good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Hang with me for a second here because for those of you that have been enjoying this travel vlog to Italy, you will enjoy today. For those of you that are sick of it and want us to get back, that's okay. This is our last vlog here in Italy and we are of course in Venice. How amazing this is. We're going to spend some time here. We're going to Florence to do a little bit and then we are back to the Reptarium BHB in tomorrow's vlog. So what do you say we just have an absolutely incredible day together? Hey Brian and Lori are in Europe right now, but uh, things go on here at BHB. I'm about to put these Ear and Giant skinks together here. They usually breed for me, but I've never had any production from them, so hopefully this year we get some babies. You know, a little bit of breeding, a little bit of interest from the male here. Getting some tail wiggles from the female over there. She looks a little interested. Now he's still shedding. You can kind of see like the scales coming off his back and stuff here. He may not be really interested in breeding until he gets all of that off. They usually, after we bring him out of hibernation and everything, they like to shed out before they breed. So we may not get much in this first few breedings. Sometimes I'll try and stimulate him a little bit here and it kind of kicks him in to breeding mode sometimes not working too well for me right now but she's ready she's wagging her tail and everything that's to show the male that she's accepting sometimes uh females won't be accepting and they'll like try and fight the male so this is pretty much skink breeding it's uh you gotta have a lot of patience don't want to breed for you every time so you just gotta keep at it keep putting them together and watching them i tell you this is absolutely insane i mean you see this in movies and tv and stuff but to actually be here it's absolutely Crazy. We're definitely going to do a gondola ride later, right, Lori? Who knows what else we're going to come across. I mean, it is going to be an absolutely amazing adventure here in Venice. It's crazy to think that they literally built the city on the water. And for those of you that don't know it, there are no automobiles allowed here. It's only boat taxis and walking around. That's it. There's no motor vehicles at all on the entire island. What do you think, Laura? I mean, is it crazy? <laughs> yeah, this is definitely just like everything here. <laughs> More than I imagine. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's, it's insane. It's it's so hard to even describe what an amazing, amazing town this is. Holy moly! Just wandering around wow. the city and seeing as much as we can see in the short time that we're going to be here. And everywhere you look, there's just views like you can't believe. There's no way we're not gonna go on a gondola ride, for sure. That's definitely gonna happen sometime today. Me and Eric over at The Reptarium. The Reptarium, go follow us on Instagram if you don't already. But I wanted to just do a little check-in with our buddy Snoop Frog and uh, your little Missy that you brought over from your collection. Uh, we haven't been spending too much time with these guys recently and uh, Quite frankly, I miss them a lot. Those are like one of the coolest things that we have. They're pretty sweet. And no, nah, that's I don't know if they're one of the coolest things we have. That I don't know why I said that, but <laughs> they're 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 awesome though. I love these little chunky monkeys. No pun intended. Watch this. Hey Brian, can I take a frog out? Guess I can do it. <laughs> He's not here to tell us no. <laughs> this is the one that uh, I ended up given to you guys whole yeah. holy crap wow dude she's a wow she's bigger than both your hands yeah i know you? she's massive Whoa. look at that she's holy trying to climb cow. away but that that's a awesome. big frog dude dude and then we also got to check in on our boy snoop frog yeah, we'll or snoop. i guess it's a girl now our girl snoop frog i've been looking at him recently the color and the patterning on this dude has changed a lot since he was a little 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 dude and it's actually insane how much he's changed. It's like copper dude, or like yeah. red on there and orange. This thing is so dude, cool. Cause you remember from when it was a baby? Yeah, it was literally a hundred percent lime green. Yeah. It had its yeah. very vibrant colors and sadly it dulled out a lot when it reached its 
full maturity level, basically. The frog is definitely my favorite Pac-Man frog that we have. This is pretty awesome. This is incredible. I mean, look at the architecture on this. And this is one of those hidden gems where I guess hardly anyone really knows about it. Thankfully, we have a really awesome friend guide that's helping us today. He brought us here. He said it's probably less than like 10% of people actually know this. And this is called the Scala Candarini, the hidden jewels of this. And we made it to the top. A little winded, but we made it to the top. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. And like I mentioned, we're really lucky to have my friend Federico Hi, here. Yeah, good to have Federico here showing us around. We'd be lost without you. So this city is like a maze. It's ridiculous. So it's good to have a local that can really show us these hidden jewels. This is awesome. Here's like the main bridge in Venice. It's the one that's really famous. Absolutely amazing. We made it to city center, St. Marco Square. Of course, the church is amazing over there. Big bell tower, oh my gosh. And again, guys, I don't wanna to continue to preach to you about things, but the truth is, is that I want you to step out of your comfort zone because honestly, you know, my comfort zone isn't in the middle of Italy or it isn't across the pond or it isn't in Africa. My comfort zone is home with my family and my dogs and my animals. And the fact is, is that until you step out of that comfort zone, you don't grow as a person. So I'm not gonna preach to you a bunch, but I am gonna tell you it is so worth it because when you do step up, you experience amazing things in life. So no matter if you can afford to go traveling or not, whatever the case is, you can find adventure right around the corner. Get out of your comfort zone, grow as a person. Trust me, you will be so happy that you did. We're about to go on our first gondola ride, but this is a local gondola, which means it's only about two euros per person. On the other hand, the fancy gondolas are actually like 50 euro per person. So the locals take these here, the fancy ones go that way. We'll probably do one of each, so yeah. Because hey, when you're in Venice, you gotta do the fancy gondolas as well. <laughs> and we are off. It. That concludes our first gondola ride. What do you think? So exciting. <laughs> Right behind us over here is actually one of the shops that hand makes the gondolas here. And those gondolas can literally sometimes cost 50 or $60,000. But they literally hand make them and this is one of the places that does it. What'd you think of Venice? I mean, pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, I mean, just like every part of Italy, just blows any expectations I had away like oh. It is really amazing. I mean, it's really good. But you know what? I hope that you guys enjoyed the little peek we showed you of Venice. But now we are off to Florence. I'm pretty excited about this one. This was the city that our daughter studied in abroad. So uh, we are super excited to go check out Florence. What do you say? We hit the road. I actually just got bit by this guy. <laughs> he crunched down on my finger. He's kind of aggressive. But hopefully that means he's going to be a good breeder for us. He's really looking interested. This is the first time we put him with anybody, so. So this is just one of those things. He's not interested, obviously. He's trying to run away. So I'm gonna just try it. This is another hard part. Since he's a little bit aggressive, I really have to watch and make sure he doesn't get her head or her arms. And this is kind of just my process. I'll keep one female out and just try a couple males until I get a good pairing. A lot of times you have to put animals together multiple times like you have to kind of introduce them uh, they won't always go the first time you put them together so maybe if I put these guys together again in a couple days they might breed and as much as we absolutely loved Venice we are so excited to be here in the city of Florence I mean this place is amazing and one of the things that's really cool about all of Italy is no matter where you go it seems very unique each city is completely different the architecture everything this is our first basilica that we'll be going to right here again looks very different than every other basilica that we've been to uh, let's see what Florence has to offer the thing that's interesting here is that in Florence it appears that you have to pay to get into the Basilica. Whereas in Rome, with the exception of the Vatican, everything was free. But uh, again, that's just how it is. These guys live on tourism. The thing I find interesting in most of the basilicas here in Italy is the fact that they're actually tombs as well. So in here, I think there's five or six people that are buried. They can be priests, they can be cardinals, and in some cases, even popes. And 
we found our second place with cannoli. So uh, this one has the normal cream filling. We'll see if this one is good enough for Lori. We'll see. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. Oh, There's chocolate in the cannoli shell. Interesting. I'm not really sure about the cream yet, but I like that idea. I might steal that. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I think it's good. Different, but good. Mm -hmm. This was something I was pretty excited about seeing. You know, I love art and I love history. You always hear about Michelangelo's statue of David. Well, guess what? It is right there. How crazy is that? I had no idea. It was so absolutely massive. Holy cow. Again, it's such an iconic thing. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, I've seen this statue my whole life in pictures and depicted in movies. To be literally feet away from it is crazy. And it's experiences like this that I wasn't even expecting when I came on this trip. How absolutely incredible is that? Holy moly. Wow. Jeez. Just to give you guys a little update on the weather situation, in Venice it was about 32 to 35 degrees, but relatively decent as far as sunny goes. Here it's about 35 degrees and it's raining, of course, so it's not quite cold enough to snow, but it's definitely chilly out here, but it's, it's completely fine. And the rain is just a drizzle, so we're not getting too wet yet, but hopefully the weather will hold up so we can finish our day in Florence and then head back to Rome and get on a plane and start heading back. And it's like I mentioned, every city here that we visit in Italy is completely different from the next. You know, in America, it's like every city has its own kind of flavor and taste, but they're all kind of the same. When you come to Italy, I mean, literally every city feels like you're in a different country or something like that. And that's what makes it so special is because definitely Florence has a completely different feel than Venice or Rome or Milan. And by the way, this is the Diomo here. And for those of you that are confused, just like I am, there's a church, there's a basilica, and there's a Diomo. I guess they all mean the exact same thing. And it is crazy how massive this is. I mean, just take a look. It goes all the way there, all the way over there all the way over to the side. Holy cow, and look at this ornate door. Oh my gosh. And we finally made it around to the front of the Diomo. Oh my gosh. It's hard to put it in words how absolutely massive and ornate this is. Crazy. Not sure if we mentioned, but me and Lori love Italy. Well, the weather has not improved, but we did get some really tasty pasta with the cheese tray, so Lori's a little happier. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it is definitely still pretty chilly out here, but it's awesome, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And up here is the Ponte Vecchio, which is the bridge across the river. And what's crazy is we're actually on the Ponte Vecchio, which is the bridge that joins both parts of Florence, uh, and this is what it looks like. I mean, it doesn't look like any bridge I've ever been on. There's some beautiful stores here, though. Look at all the jewelry. Uh, you need some jewelry, eh? Yeah, I think it'd make a great souvenir. We found some cannolis that were actually from Sicily style, so this might be the closest thing to Lori's grandma, which was from Sicily. So It looked like it. Let's give it a shot. All right. More like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot more like it. Mm -hmm. That's definitely the closest thing for sure. These are good. Laura, you said this is the Pity Palace? No. <laughs> what did you say it was? <laughs> this is the Palazzo Pity. Yes. So the Pity or... Palace. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> it's <laughs> regardless. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really amazing. Oh. This is crazy. Lori, I think they call this the chandelier room. I think that's a good name. <laughs> yeah. We have a few hours left in Florence before we start heading to Rome, and Florence is really known for its museum. So I think we're gonna hit three museums before we head back. One is the Galileo, one is the Uffizi, and the other one I don't know the name, but we're gonna go <laughs> check them out and see what they've got. We made it to our first museum, and basically the reason we chose this museum is it had some of Michelangelo's works in here, so we thought it would be pretty cool. It's one of the smaller museums. I think this in Galileo, are both pretty small, and then the Uffizi is absolutely mammoth. Okay, I think there's a chance we might be in the wrong museum. I mean, we came in, and it's all like <laughs> about like movies, and look at there's like a clown outfit over here. 
I don't think this is anything to do with Michelangelo at all. <laughs> Good job, Lori. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Look at this. It's, it's cool nonetheless. I mean, what the heck? We might as well enjoy it. I'm still not 100% sure what this museum is about. I think it's about a famous filmmaker in Italy. Do you think that's it? That would be my guess. Your guess, yeah. It seems like it's all about movies that were made. Uh, didn't get a whole lot out of it. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're such tourists. It's so funny. We never did find the museum that we were looking for that had the Michelangelo stuff, but that's okay because we're going to go to the Galileo Museum and then the Uffizi, which is supposed to be a museum that is like second only to the Louvre in France. So I'm pretty excited about that. So the Galileo Museum is all about scientific advancement over the last several centuries, including sundials, which were the earliest form of telling time. And I love museums and I love art and I love science. So this is actually pretty cool. For you flat earth people out there, here's a map of the earth, a flat earth in 1457. So uh, there you have proof that the earth is flat. That was super cool. Again, it's someone that loves science to see stuff like that. I mean, I think what's interesting about what we saw today was that, you know, that was the era where people really started to think things through from a science standpoint. It was pretty amazing to just see all the apparatus. I mean, how did they come up with that stuff? I mean, you know, Galileo and all the sciences from that time. It was, it was spectacular. We're off to the Uffizi now, which is supposed to be absolutely incredible. Definitely a very impressive gallery, there's no doubt about it. I mean, tons of paintings, carvings. I mean, this is uh, definitely the largest museum I've ever been to. Amazing works of art. All right, is there the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle section with Raphael, Michelangelo, and Donatelli? <laughs> <laughs> what? Pretty incredible to just be this close to Leonardo da Vinci's works. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. We saw Michelangelo stuff, now da Vinci. Wow. So the next big artist, Raphael, this gallery is just for his artwork. So again, we've seen Michelangelo, we've seen da Vinci, and now we've seen Raphael. Wow. Literally, all we need is Donatello, and we'd have the Mutant Ninja Turtles. We're so close. Was there a Donatello? I, I saw his name. What? So this wasn't Donatello, but this was actually in front of a piece of work from Donatello. So we basically have the Mutant Ninja Turtles now, so uh, I'm okay. We can go now. That was absolutely amazing. Again, I don't know if you guys are into art and whatnot, but I've always been into it, so it was absolutely incredible. We even got to see some Rembrandt, so gosh, what an amazing, amazing gallery. But you know, as much as we love Florence, we're wrapping our time up here in Florence, gonna be heading to the train station, heading to Rome for one last night, and then tomorrow we wake up and we get on a plane and we fly back to the Repterum in BHB. So goodbye, Florence, we're on the train to Rome. And we are back in Rome, well, actually at the Rome airport, so there's no beautiful sights to see, but this this trip was absolutely incredible. Tomorrow morning we wake up, we get on a plane, we go to Amsterdam, and then eventually we get back home to the Reptarium BHB and all of our lovely animals, crew, and of course, Noah. This trip was absolutely incredible. And just so you guys have an idea, I mean, we were only here a handful of days and we saw so much. We were literally going day to night. Most days we were walking like eight to 10 plus miles a day. So that's the way we do it. So we need a vacation from our vacation. If you get my trip regardless, let me know in the comments how you like this adventure. What was your favorite part? What would you like us to do in the future? Your support means the world to me and I truly do love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? If you like this video, can you turn those post notifications on? If you want to know when I upload a video, make sure to be kind to someone and tomorrow we are traveling people and I promise I'll take you along on the journey. <laughs>